In this video, we will walk through the basic steps required to automate and silently install Visual Studio Code using the EXE installer. I will also demonstrate how to add a Visual Studio Code Windows Explorer context menu for both files and folders, plus several other additional configurations. First, we will open our browser to the Visual Studio Code downloads page. Select the system installer of your choice. I'm going to choose the 64-bit version in this example. I've downloaded the executable to the C downloads folder. Open an elevated command prompt by right clicking on command prompt and select run as administrator. Change the directory to the C downloads folder. Enter the following command. We have the name of the executable space forward slash question mark. Hit enter. This presents us with the optional command line parameters. In this instance, we will select slash very silent. When the setup is run using the very silent switch, the installation progress window is not displayed. We will also add the slash no restart switch to prevent the setup from restarting the system following a successful installation. Back at the command prompt, enter the following command. Press enter. After a minute or so, we can see that Visual Studio Code has installed, however the application opened automatically. If we look in the registry, we can see that there is a run code task enabled by default. To prevent Visual Studio Code from automatically opening after the installation has completed, we will add the merge task switch parameter. Back at the command prompt, enter the following command. Notice the slash merge tasks equals exclamation point run code. The exclamation point tells the installer to deselect the task when installing the application. You may also want to generate a log file during the installation to assist with troubleshooting should any problems arise. To accomplish that, we will add the following switch parameter, slash log equals the path to the log file. Press enter. After a minute or so, you will find Visual Studio Code entries in the start menu, the installation directory, and programs and features in the control panel. Also note that the application did not automatically open this time. We can also see the log file that was generated and we can confirm that the installation was successful. We can also change the default installation directory for Visual Studio Code by using the following switch parameter. In this example, I will install the application to CVS Code. Back at the command prompt, Enter the following command. Press enter. We can see that this time Visual Studio Code installed to C VS Code instead of the program files. In this next example, we will exclude the addition of the Visual Studio Code path environment variable. If we look at the path system environment variable, we can see that the path to Visual Studio Code is included. Looking in the registry, we can see the add to path task enabled by default. We will again use the merge tasks switch parameter to exclude the add to path task. Enter the following command. Press enter. Now looking at the path system environment variable, we can see that the path to Visual Studio Code is no longer included. If you need to create a desktop shortcut, enter the following command.
You can also add a Visual Studio Code Windows Explorer context menu for both files and folders. For a files context menu, use the following command. For a folder context menu, use the following command. Finally, to register Visual Studio Code as an editor for supported file types, enter the following command. As a side note, you can run any combination of the previously mentioned settings. For example, I could disable run code, include a desktop shortcut, and include context menus for both files and folders, like in this example. For more free content, check out silentinstallhq.com. Thank you so much for watching.